The University of Auckland's levelled up its commitment to the Māori language, opening its first space set aside just for te reo speakers. It's part of its long-term goal to get at least half of its entire faculty speaking the basics by 2040. And as Māori Affairs correspondent Tiana Mahuri Hanganui reports, there's hope other universities will follow suit. It's a guessing game. This game is not bad, it is... Hi. With a bilingual twist. A resource these students use to learn a language they love. Now they have a dedicated space on campus outside of the classroom where te reo Māori is the primary language spoken. Ka pai oki. Te kitenga o tētahi wahi ki a tuai hei Māori. Whatever the, the key is that gets more people speaking Knowing that there's a safe place here at university at Waipapatau Matarau might just be one of those keys. You'll find it at the Auckland University Library. E hara i te mea me matatau, he wahi kōrero Māori tēnei mō ngā taumatareo katoa. We have these amazing uh, bracelets, so when you start coming and using the space, we'll give you a different coloured band so that whoever else is in here understands what level you're at. <laughs> It's part of the university's wider strategy to have at least half of its faculty able to speak basic Māori phrases by 2040. One News asked other institutions what their Māori language targets are. Victoria University of Wellington wants all staff to complete a Māori language course within three years of their appointment. Otago University has set a target of 1,200 staff completing a cultural competency program by the end of next year and the University of Canterbury offers free Māori language workshops for its employees. I'm hoping eventually it'll get to the point where we won't need these spaces because te reo is normal. The reo space is a small step to achieving that. Tiani Wahuri Hanganui, One News.